Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Now let's see what messages want to come out for you. What are the messages for Capricorn? We've got relationship, healing, social media and unfinished business. So for those of you who are in a relationship, you could be healing that connection very soon. Someone feels like they have unfin unfinished business with you. What are the messages for Capricorn? Wow, it's a lot of blue. So some of you could have communication coming in from someone. We got the main events, reaching the climax in your story, the best part, happy ending. We have good news on the horizon, union and shooting a shot. Time is running out. Playing games, sound the alarm, it's time to wake someone up, playing foul. So someone's been waiting too long to say something. But I do see the healing of a connection. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? What are the messages? So the person you're dealing with is feeling a lot of disappointment. There could be a Pisces for some of you. Yeah. We have the Ten of Cups and the, the Four of Wands. So there's something about um, restoring stability in a connection. But at the moment, this person is very disappointed. I'm hearing disappointed in themselves, possibly. They are feeling, they're not feeling like they're the best at the moment. They're not in their best state, not feeling their most confident. But there's something about both of you wanting a connection to be mended. We have um, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So you might be upset with this person. Some of you feel like you don't want to carry the burden of the connection anymore. I do feel like this person could step up. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. So this is coming out of a break period. Let me see. Why are the Six of Wands in reverse? Temperance in reverse. Yeah, this person, they feel it. And it's more about them feeling like you've let them go. We have the Seven of Swords. I do get the message that for some of you, you could be either entertaining other options or there's people who are trying to get with you. Something about this person feeling like um, something's being taken from them. Why the, the nine of cups in reverse? This person could have lied about something or they feel like they've been lying to themselves. There's some kind of clarity here. They could be feeling like they've kind of caused a lot of issues that they didn't realize before. Why the moon in reverse? Eight of swords in reverse. I feel like this person's seeing how they've blocked themselves in the situation. We've got the queen of pentacles upright. They're coming to a lot of realizations. The two of swords and the eight of swords in reverse. With the moon in reverse there's a lot of clarity coming to this person i feel like they're taking accountability i feel like they're realizing where they went wrong they could be very disappointed in themselves could be a sagittarius for some of you or a taurus why the queen of swords in reverse i feel like you're still healing something here some of you could be exploring other options with the Knight of Wands in reverse, you could be kind of rebelling. I do feel like you may have <laughs> like uh, like moments where you do kind of cross this person out in your mind and kind of decide to just do your own thing, focus on yourself or date. Why the Ten of Wands in reverse?
Eight of Pentacles, Seven of, not Seven, Knight of Swords. Okay, you feel like you're doing all the work in the connection. I feel like it's gonna take for this person to step up because I feel like you're done doing everything. You could be very focused on your work, on your finances, career. But this person, they are focused on you, but in a way where it's, they're actually looking at themselves. Why the Four of Swords in reverse? Could be a Leo for some of you. Yeah, there's going to be an apology. Three of Cups, reconciliation, and then apology, Page of Cups with strength. You guys will come out of a break period with someone. They will apologize. I'm being drawn to good news on the horizon. So yeah, I feel like this person is going to step up. Honestly, let me look at the main spread and see what's going on. Messages for Capricorn. And I love messages for Capricorn. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse again, so you're definitely done with putting in too much effort in a situation. They see you as the Queen of Swords, so they may feel like you're very, very cold towards them at the moment. But your outcome is the Four of Wands. So there is going to be um, a good ending here for this connection. This person is in their feelings at the moment. They do have the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is about no longer playing games. So let's let's give this person a chance because <laughs> they seem to be really looking at themselves is what I'm seeing. I mean, it's up to you if you want to give them a chance. I'm just saying I can see that this person is. They're about to do what they need to do. Why the Page of Cups in reverse? Yeah, I feel like if you are dating, if you are like being rebellious, doing your own thing, it is very like, it's really affecting this person. It's making them feel some type of way. It does have them in their feelings with the Five of Cups, Page of Cups in reverse, Empress in reverse. But you feel like they're not giving you enough for Cups here. And you see them as not taking a leap. So this is someone who you waited for at one point, but you're done waiting for them. I do see them stepping up. Why the Four of Cups? And some of you are focused on, you're focusing on something that you have going on and you are like really going for what you want. Some of you could be focused on another person. It could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's definitely an energy of you being focused on something that you're creating. Some of you are feeling um, not very satisfied with life at the moment, like wanting to do more, wanting more excitement, whether it's to do with work or love. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse, please. Yeah, I feel like you're detaching from them because you feel like you're doing everything. You, you with the hangman, you're seeing things very differently now. Why the Seven of Swords in reverse? This person's trying to figure out how to come forward to a Wands. They are very disappointed in themselves. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's gonna be communication. We have the Eight of Wands with mutual energy. But I feel like this is you putting your energy towards things you want to do, but this person's putting their energy towards you here. Clarify the lovers. So they feel like you're exploring your options. Or they could assume that, even if you're not. But they don't want things to change. We got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom again. So you guys, this is your energy. So you guys are really focusing on um, 
your money, your career, yourself is what I'm seeing. Why are they seeing you as the Queen of Swords? They feel like you have a lot of good things going on in your life. You may you may be bored at the moment, but they see you as having like a lot of changes go on and but they see you as being cold towards them. Why the four of wands? This person wants to come out of the cold. They're gonna come towards you. Chariot could be a cancer, and then you won't be single. Some of you, if you do have somebody right now, you're probably going to make a choice, like if you have more than one option. But I see, I see a, a connection here. A lot of the readings have been about breaking up and moving on. But this one is about like, either you're re reconciling with this person, or there's somebody that you're going to be with. I don't know, but there's a relationship at the end for you whether it's with this person or not, but I see this person stepping up. What do we have for Capricorn? Oh my gosh, where is this coming from? Hex, witchcraft, negative mind. Hold on. What do we have for Capricorn? Beginnings, try again, new direction, start over. The messages for Capricorn. Got depth, awareness, importance, value. We got heart fog, mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up. We've got withdrawal, withdrawn, single, lonely, solitude. What is going on here? Some of you may have like negative thoughts at the moment because it is a retrograde and it is affecting Capricorn. So that could just be. That just could be it, but it could, I'm gonna clarify it though. Um, let's see. What are the messages for Capricorn? Comic soul lessons, cold shoulder, distance, inner child, can I come out and play? Toxic ulterior motives, voodoo priestess, higher learning. But what is going on here with all this voodoo? Maybe a fake friend, let me clarify. What is this um, curse card for Capricorn? Some of you could, I was going to say before the magician came out that some of you could be, um, could be you who is getting into witchcraft. Some of you. Some of you are working on that, dabbling it. We got the moon too. Oh my gosh. So if it's you, if you are working on witchcraft, then that's just what it's speaking about. But if you're not, then, hmm. Nine of swords in reverse. Some of you could be dabbling in it um, to fi maybe fix a situation. The nine of swords in reverse. We got the moon. Hmm. What is make um, clarify the witch situation with Capricorn? Is it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try again. Some of you are. Some of you are using it to increase your finances. Page of Ace of Pentacles. Well, let's see. What is the witchcraft situation talking about for Capricorn? The moon again. Some of you are working on like magic, moon stuff, um, or there could be with the, there could be someone trying to do it towards you with the, Page of Swords in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. Someone could be trying to affect your stability. I see it being 50 50. 50. So it's either you're doing it or someone's doing it. Hold on. Let me... Oh my gosh. The sun. Okay, we've got the sun and the moon, but the cards keep wanting to like fall all of a sudden. We're talking about the witchcraft thing. 
Verify ulterior motives, please. Someone at work or someone in your friend circle. So if you're not learning witchcraft, then someone at work or someone in your friend circle or maybe family who has like a very sh like turbulent energy, they could be someone who's just like envious, doesn't really have any patience or rationality, could be doing this or trying to. Clarify Voodoo Priestess, please. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is like witch energy. It's either you, because we do have High Priestess, um, sorry, Voodoo Priestess, which it also says higher learning. So again, could be you learning, learning spiritual practices, witchcraft. But if it's not you, be careful of a fake friend from, from the past maybe, or someone you work with, or someone who's currently in your friend circle. You would know because their energy is off, like they're very temperance in reverse. You could pick up envy from them. You could pick up like, they could be a thrill seeking type. They could get agitated easily. Someone who's always like on edge. They could feel betrayed by you for something or they could be trying to betray you with this 10 of swords. So if you're not doing witchcraft for your, you know, for your own sake, beware of somebody around you. Um, clarify the fool in reverse, please. Why three cards? Okay. This person could be working on their money as well. You see them as a king of pentacles. You think they're focused on work, but they're actually, they're not leaving you out of what they're focused on. So they may be fixing their financial situation or working hard. They could be a business person for some of you, but they are focused on you. They do feel rejected and they do feel fearful of coming forward. They are in their feelings. King of Cups in reverse. Why is it Five of Swords? The overall energy. Some of you are blocking out a lot of um, people. Some of you feel, you may still feel negatively about a breakup or separation with them. Love is in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. So you could be in your head about it or feeling slighted by this person, but I feel like Whatever they did, they are looking at what they did and judging themselves and wanting to make it right. So while you're shutting this person out, I do feel like you feel some type of way towards them, but they're actually changing their tone. Let's see. What do we have for Capricorn? Don't put more effort than them into this connection. They can't meet your standards. Prioritize your own happiness. They aren't worth the effort, stop. Yeah, there's something about you no longer needing to put in effort. Two cards about putting in effort and I do see that you're no longer doing that with the 10 of ones in reverse. It's, it's at the point where this person needs to start like if they want you, they have to start showing up and showing out for you, is what I'm seeing. Clarify they can't meet your standards. Queen of Pens goes reverse. For some of you, if, if, for those of you who are moving on and gonna end up with a new person, the past person could be someone who is just, even if they are working on themselves, they probably can't meet your standards. Maybe you've just elevated way above them. Um, but I feel like not all of you though. For some of you, you know, not all of you are dealing with someone who cannot meet your standards. Maybe they couldn't at the time, but I see someone really putting in work. So it really depends on what they've done. And you'll know based on how much effort they put in because I see that it's just it's just the end of you putting in effort. So if they're not putting in any, you're probably gonna end up with someone else. If they are putting in a lot of effort, then there's a chance. Um, let me see. 
What do we have for Capricorn? True love, pure love, honest connection, freedom, being single, lightness, casual, communication, texting, phone calls, online, past love in the past, past lover. So this is like a 50-50 reading. Someone may be doing craft on you, someone may not. Someone may be coming forward to put in the effort. Someone cannot meet your standards. It's just like, it depends on your personal situation. Either way, whether you're, even if you're dealing with someone who can't meet your standards, I don't feel like you care anyways, especially if you're working on witchcraft or um, learning, like higher learning, spiritual, learning spiritual stuff that can help you. There's really not a need for a person when you're taking yourself this far and could end up with someone else anyways. Um, let's see. Do we have for Capricorn? Enjoy quality time. Missing you, time apart options. So yeah, I do feel like I see a strong message of time apart from someone and during that time apart, some of you could be kind of feeling rebellious feeling like you're gonna do you and date in but that's really like really has this person in their feelings probably making them want to step up what's the good news for capricorn on the horizon yeah for some of you it's communication so ten of cups in reverse with the eight of wands some of you after a relationship kind of ended there was unhappiness there's going to be communication things are going to pick up this could be for you financially as well but balance scales here for some of you somebody's getting their karma because i'm kind of looking at him laughing denzel washington laughing it's like i don't know you may be you may be able to laugh at someone getting their karma soon with the justice card and the eight of one so maybe the person who's trying to um maybe the person with ulterior motives will get their karma so this is what i'm seeing for you capricorn could be dealing with a taurus could be a cancer a libra got leo fellow capricorn taurus again gemini we have the lover's card Libra again, Scorpio, Gemini again, um, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so those are the main signs. Hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.